Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, 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 yes. But we didn't forget about them. We took a break off of them because they really weren't doing anything. And they were just really showing Simon. And he was just boring as hell to me. But welcome to the channel, Dale Chanel's Birdies World, where I talk about celebrities and their comings and goings. And you may ask why I do that. Because I can't, can, and I can't, can, and I can't, can, and I can't, can, and I will. All right, this was Simon's birthday party. Portia went all out. Simon got 4,105 uh, hearts, 78 comments, and um, I think that was pretty much it. Really? Yeah. But, yeah, that's his, um, what do you call that? That was his birthday party, and I finally found out, just from this looking, you know, this is what I do from time to time. Um, the restaurant that they went to, it was called the Vermeer. Well, I'm going to tie that name up. But anyway, so it was like La Portia, a Pasha, something like that. But yes, honey, and I'm like, girl, uh, who account did this come out of? Who account? You don't know, got no business trying to figure out that information. But I'm asking, okay? Since you're living the bomb life, you you, you and Simon said, y'all living y'all best life, girl. So I'm like, okay, all right. Well, let's see what they're working with. Now, he says it's his 58th birthday. I'm pretty sure it's probably 68, but that's just me. And Portia's dropping all these gems down, how to treat yourself. And I was like, Portia, you need to be reading this, baby. You don't need to be posting it. You need to be paying attention to what you're posting. Okay? Because you don't do anything privately. You tell everybody. Everything that they want to know about you. And then you blast it on social media. Whether you're talking about it or whether you're showing us pictures. So, I'm like, mm, you can't get mad at people that want to come in and have a look-see or say on what you post. Because it's like you say one thing and yet you do another thing. And we want accountability. Be so private, they can't do anything but assume. We don't really have to assume anything, Portia, because you're going to show it. You're going to show it in some fashion, whether you show it on your Instagram account or whether you share that with Simon. And right now, we're in the picture-looking phase of this video because they say you're using filters on Father Time. Yeah. So you're using filters, Portia. And where are you going with all this long hair almost down to your ankles? Are you kidding me, Portia? Now, we do have some cultures that can damn sure go their hair that long. But why would you want to, Portia? Why would you want to, baby girl? Because it seems like if you do a little dip, that flow, that hair will be on the flow. And that got all that over it on it and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just dirty stuff. Who does that? Who does that? Because you really like looking like Morticia on the Adams family with that hair. Okay? Now, Morticia was cute to me. I don't care what nobody say. She just had, it was just done in black and white with no color. But Portia, 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 I don't think you really need to wear that hair anymore, girl. I don't think you need to wear that hair no more. It's not flattering. Okay? You could have cut it off at the... Let me see, the upper part of your back. You could have been doing a little like that, but girl, how would you even comb that hair if that was your real hair? You couldn't even really comb it correctly. And you would probably be charged an exuberant amount of money, meaning a lot of money, to take care of your hair if you went to a stylist. Girl, cut it, Portia. Cut it some, honey. It don't need to be hanging all down to the below. 
all right, not hanging down to the floor. And then it looks like it's kind of thin in the back of it. And why you ain't giving these people their uh, go naked hair? I've been hearing you've been holding out. Did you ever give Buffy Parcell her? Did you ever give Buffy Parcell her hair? And she said she bought from y'all. And I believe Buffy. So Buffy's all right in my book. I wish you'd get on another reality show so I could follow her and give, give her good ratings. I like the Buffy. Yes, I did. I do. I do. I do. I do. Okay, but we're trying to figure out, did you give Buffy her hair, honey? While you out here probably putting all your dollars, your coins, everything, your time, your attention into your boyfriend's birthday party. Now, my thing is, what the hell did he do for you on your birthday? Because I see this broken down bus that Dennis uh went on and let you have to get your party to where they wanted it to be or whatever event hall you had. And it wasn't as fabulous as the one you catered up for, Simon, girl. Okay, flip ahead, a.k.a. Papa Smurf. Okay. Father Time is where I like to remember him as and to introduce him to as. Girl, Porsche, 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 Porsche. I can't take it. You are too much. But I am impressed that you're trying to put clothes on your body that comes down past your kneecaps. Yes, I love it. I love the style. I love it. I love the style, honey. You are giving it to us. You are serving up. But I knew you, you couldn't keep all your assets the uh, unseen. <laughs> you couldn't do that. You couldn't keep all your assets unseen. But it seems like you had a blast. I don't know none of them people just about uh, who came to your party. But I guess that's not really meant for me to know. Just to admire, I guess you would say. Just to admire. But I want to know how much was that put in, Portia girl? Drop us some coins because it looks like that restaurant is expensive. After, what do you call it, seven or eight? Uh-huh. Yeah, y'all was, was in some numbers. Uh, we call it some numbers as far as finances. Finance. Who financed this part is what I'm getting to. Girl, who financed this part? Does this money come from his account or your account? Who's really living the bomb life here? Because I would hate to see you just go out like that. Where he's done taking all your money. Because this birthday party should have been your birthday party. Because I think you had about, what, five people at yours? At your birthday party that you threw yourself. A five people, girl. And it looked like you just don't pull some folks off the street. Or if you didn't pull them off the street, it probably was people already in the, um, what do you call them, in the restaurant. I don't know, Portia. I just don't know. I don't know, girl. But as long as you know, and if you like, Celebrate Father Time and his 60 some birthday, but he say 58. That's good. That's good. That's all good in the neighborhood, okay? Because women lie too. I don't lie. But, uh, and most people like myself, they don't lie. We cherish every year we're giving from the Lord. We don't want to push nothing back, okay? Just give it to us all. How you going to give it to us, Lord? We thankful. But people in the acting field, uh, or a certain type of sporting field, you can't play after a certain age, or you really can feel it that you give them much more of your energy than you have to really give because of age. You know, you can't, you can't, you know, make it be any different. Some people handle getting old with grace and and, and stamina because they still are able to use all their limbs. Nothing's aching them. Nothing's gotten them to hold back on certain types of exercising um, techniques. And they can still do what they did when they were in their younger years, like their 20s and 30s. So, oh, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. And I saw you, Portia, trying to help that man. No, you were trying to tell him to blow out them candles. But you know, Father Time is toxic, girl. You were not close to that thing. Because you already were looking like a reptilian on one of those photos. Girl, he probably would have um, fried him to death. We didn't want time to do that. And then why would you want him to blow with all the openness out there, girl? 
How the oh we gonna get on that cake? No. You just get one of them things to let that uh candle go out, like blot it out or whatever. But we don't want him. Well, like I said, I wouldn't want no birthday cake. That someone just blew their wind or blew their uh, air or blew their vapors, okay, out into the atmosphere, onto that cake. No, as you get older, you think about stuff like that. You don't want nobody doing no stuff like that. You make a wish, and then you just throw, you know, what do you call it, add out or blot out the candle. But we, don't, mm -mm, we don't do that thing where uh, we blow anymore. We don't even let the kids blow because, you know, they already germs on their behind because they always doing this and the third with their little friends. They want to hug. They want to kiss on each other. They want to eat each other's food. <laughs> no. But that's all we have for this video, guys. I just want to show the difference of Portia's birthday party compared to Father Time and Portia throwing all these hidden messages instead of just coming on out saying what you feel. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we can do sublim subliminals all the time. And you're going to have people that talk about you all the time, too, Portia. Good, bad, or indifferent. It keeps your name out there. It keeps you, you know, because your name still is on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, girl. They still be... Man, you and Nene, and y'all ain't even getting paid for it. That's free advertisement, child. So y'all are high commodities. But I know you both, but we don't want Nene. And I'm pretty sure they don't want Nene because she's trying to do that old, you know, soup thing. But they would probably love for you to come back, Portia, because I know Kenya, Marlo, Sheree, possibly Candy, would be all up on your ass about what, what is this man? Why haven't he got verified on Instagram? You can see who he say he is. They can't find anything on him. That's why he got that blue check. Girl, is he truly a millionaire? Because you know, Kenya, she good at investigating, child. She'll bring in the first wife <laughs> that was married to uh, Mr. Father Time. She'll go find, she'll dig up every little single stone that had information about your boyfriend. Yes, she would. Remember the cookie lady? Do you remember the cookie lady and Tanya situation? Okay, so don't tell me Kenya would not go and hit a home run. Okay, a home run at the baseball field on your ass. But okay, that's all I got, and I got more, and I will be back in another video. Y'all take it easy. Bye-bye.